Hi, this is Hector Garcia, CPA, Advanced QuickBooks Pro Advisor, and Intuit Premier Reseller. In this video, I'm going to show you two of my favorite features you can find in QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant Edition. I'm specifically going to be talking about the 2018 version, which was released in September of 2017. Now, in this video is focusing on QuickBooks Accountant Edition, which is either the enterprise accountant or the regular desktop accountant, and we're not talking about the online edition at all. Keep in mind that Intuit currently has about 11 different versions of QuickBooks you can buy, and seven of those are on the desktop flavors. So we're specifically talking about the desktop editions, and we're gonna be talking about the accountant editions, which is either the enterprise accountant, which is the one I'm using for this video, or the regular desktop accountant. Now, alongside those two features we're gonna discuss in this video, there's also a few other features that are worth mentioning, which we'll have other videos on, which is only available in those accountant editions of QuickBooks, which is the ability to toggle across all the industry versions, which is a little bit of a customized version of QuickBooks for those specific industries, very popular for nonprofit, contractors, and any inventory-based companies. You can also work on an accountant's copy. So if an end user, a customer, let's say a customer of an accountant, it's working on QuickBooks and makes a split of the file, they can send that accountant's copy to the accountant, which requires that accountant edition to work on the accountant's copy and, those, and then send those changes back to the customer. You can also send journal entries or adjustments made on a copy or a duplicate of the file, which is very common that, that gets sent to an accountant from a client accountant relationship and the QuickBooks file manager for an accountant that's managing multiple QuickBooks files. So on those five features that you see on the screen, we're gonna be focusing pinpointing on the accountant center and the client data review. And on this screen, you can find all the most common tools that accountants use when they're logging into their client's file and making adjustments to the file. So you're gonna see here on the top side of the Accountant Center, we're gonna see all these tools like Batch Enter, Make Journal Entries, Working Trial Balance, and we'll have other videos on those features, but we're not gonna focus on those. And then there's a little button here on the top right that says Customize, where you can actually uh, change the order or remove and add maybe other tools that you're commonly going to every time you log into the client's file. So that's kind of like overall what that uh, top portion is, which is the tools. Now on the bottom portion, you're gonna see the reconciliation section. I love this screen because basically it shows me a snapshot of all the accounts, such as bank accounts and credit card accounts, and then it tells me what their current balances is, the reconciled balance and the last reconciled date. Now what's really interesting about this is you can actually click on that date and it will send you straight into the reconciliation report. So if it's very common that you're reviewing the reconciliation report when you first log into the QuickBooks file, uh, that's a really great shortcut. So none of those tools, by the way, are exclusive to this accountant center uh, window per se. You can actually access them by clicking on account client data review and in, in finding all the accounting tools, or you can go to the reconciliation page and go through the reconciliation. But this is one simple screen where you're gonna find the most common tools that every accountant needs to review their client's file. So that's the accountant center. Let's go to the client data review. So I'm gonna click on the accountant menu and then click on client data review. And then we're gonna click on the first option at the top that says client data review. Now, this is a really, really great tool. This is designed to create a checklist of all the common things that accounting professionals or maybe QuickBooks consultants are going through in order to review, make adjustments, or fix the books or the accounting of uh, an end user or a small business. Now, the way this screen is designed is you can have what's called overall review notes. So you can actually, here on the right side, you can type uh, any review notes you want, such as, you know, and I can put my name and say, uh, looked at the file for the first time, okay? Or, or something like that. Uh, it really depends on, on what, uh, what, what type of notes you put there and if there's multiple people working on it and, you know, and what could be useful about that. So those are what they call 
overall uh, review notes. Now up here in the top uh, portion, there's a little button that says modify review. When I click on that, it would actually send me into a screen that allows me to choose what's called the review period. So it lets me uh, tell QuickBooks, hey, I am reviewing this particular date range. And it's important for QuickBooks to know what date range I'm reviewing, you know, last month, last year, something like that. I'm actually gonna click on last month. That way, when I click on the next month, it lets me know that all those review notes were for that particular month or that particular period. It also allows me to choose whether the review is on accrual or cash basis, and then I click on modify review. So this is gonna take me back into the screen, but QuickBooks is going to remember which was the period I was reviewing last. That way, when I log in the first time, I actually know exactly where I left off. A couple of the really interesting things about this is, <clears throat> this is grouped based on tasks. So first, it asks you to review all your account balances or your account classification. So you can actually click on troubleshoot previewed accountant balances and I'll take you to a screen. We'll have another video on that, uh, that you can actually make adjustments to the balance sheet. You can also click on reclassify transactions, which will also have another video on that where you can do that. So as you go through all these motions, you can actually click on status and tell it, okay, this is in progress, this is completed, this is not applicable, whatever it happens to be. And I can actually specifically click on no. So I can say uh, waiting for loan statements or, or something like that, whatever is it that we're doing. So I can add specific notes to a specific portion of that predetermined task in the client data review. And here I can say, all done, whatever I want to do. And then as I go down, I see other tasks like uh, review list changes, uh, troubleshooting accounts receivable, writing off old invoices, troubleshooting accounts payable, troubleshooting sales tax inventory, payroll liabilities, those sort of things. So once you're completely done with this, you add all your notes and give a status to each, to each of the tasks, you can actually print or create a PDF and when you open up that PDF, it looks exactly like that screen. It tells you the name of the company, the review period, all your individual task notes, and the status progress for each one. So this is actually a real professional way that accounting professionals can, uh, in a monthly, quarterly, annual basis, review their clients' QuickBooks desktop file using the accountant edition of QuickBooks and uh, have an organized way to reviewing it. It really does save four to six hours of work in most cases when you follow that specific process. And the list of tasks that you're gonna see in the client data review are here on the screen, which is troubleshoot last year's balance, review list changes or changes in your item list or chart of accounts, that sort of thing, mass write-off of invoices that have maybe passed due old balances, the ability to fix unapplied customer invoice and credits and vendor bills and credits that maybe weren't applied correctly with checks or payments. The ability to clean up your undeposited funds accounts if there's old transactions in there. Some troubleshooting of inventory, specifically negative inventory items and inventory not matching your reports. The ability to correct issues with your paid uh, liabilities in payroll or liabilities in sales tax and the working trial balance. Now we're gonna have videos on every one of these features uh, coming up soon in the channel, so check them out. And it's also worth mentioning that with the accountant edition of QuickBooks and all the enterprise editions of QuickBooks, you have a whole slew of great, amazing tools that really improve your workflow, such as batch enter transactions, which allows you to copy and paste transactions from Excel into QuickBooks, specifically for checks, deposits, bills, and invoices. The ability to do voiding or deleting transactions in batch. Also the ability to reclassify transactions in batch, which is one of my favorite tools as an accounting professional, where I had to sort of fix client errors where they classified expenses incorrectly. The ability to merge vendors in batch, that's new for 2018, by the way. Also the fixed asset manager, the QuickBooks statement writer, the ability to open two company files at the same time and creating a period copy. Now don't worry, we're gonna have videos in all of these features coming up in the channel. And finally, specific to the Enterprise Platinum Edition and the Enterprise Accountant Edition, 
you're gonna see these tools which are known as the advanced pricing and advanced inventory tools. Now advanced pricing replaces the old price rule system and allows you to have a sophisticated system for creating multiple scenarios that can affect the sales price automating the salespeople uh, invoice creation process. You can also do volume discounts so you can create a specific price based on how many items you're selling. You can also do FIFO inventory evaluation, which the regular version of QuickBooks and the regular enterprise, not Platinum or Accountant, can only do average cost. You can also track multiple inventory site locations with bin locations inside each inventory site locations. You can do serial number and lot number tracking. It also has support for barcode scanner like a USB or a Bluetooth barcode scanner when creating invoices or receiving inventory into bills. And finally, new for 2018, Android app support for mobile picking. You can actually use an Android tablet or an Android phone like this to actually confirm that the product has been picked from a sales order before it gets shipped. Now there's also support for built-in scanner on your Android device so the warehouse personnel can actually scan the product as they pick it, letting the back office know that the product is ready to pick and that they actually pick the right one. If you're interested in purchasing QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant, there's a direct phone number from Intuit Support Sales for specifically for accountants and the link, which I'm also gonna put in the description section to get direct information about QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant 2018.